Happy 5 o'clock. How's everybody doing? We got an early February edition of Mail Call for you guys here. Just received a order from Megabass that obviously I'm always pumped up on. Um, but once again, uh, I'm going to share with you guys some of the goodies that came in the mail for me. Um, and this is all stuff that I order uh, directly for the upcoming season in anticipation of the different types of fishing that we're going to be doing over the course of uh, the next several weeks. So try to keep my orders, uh, you know, accurate and concise uh, with You know, when I place these orders, I try to make them real accurate and concise in anticipation of the different conditions I'll be uh, facing and the different types of fishing that I plan on doing both for myself and with my clients. So right off the bat here, we got a selection and a restock of one of, I think, what is still one of the most underrated soft body swim baits on the market. And what we have here is the now infamous 3-inch Spark Shad. And it looks like those are the only three colors that I ordered this go around. But those of you guys that are uh, not familiar with this bait might want to go back and check the All Over Night Instagram profile. And scroll back the last couple of seasons here. And you'll see that we have done some real damage on this little 3 inch finesse swim bait. And these are some of the more popular colors that I like fishing. But yeah, take a look at one of these bad boys straight out of the package. And one thing about the Mega Bass brand is, you know, they pay attention to every little detail. And I'm not just talking about the profile and the finish and the eyeballs on the bait but look at this packaging you know it's designed to keep these baits and tails from warping and running true straight out of the package for the last several months I've just honestly been storing them inside the packages uh, you know they just kind of get more life out of them and unfortunately they take up a little take they take up a little bit more space in storage and in the boat but with a couple of tricks that I'm going to show you guys uh, you will hopefully not have to go through so many baits. So just a couple packs of each color should be solid. But this is a little three inch swim bait. Real simple profile. Got a belly slit here for for the hook. And obviously uh, what first comes to mind is fishing this thing on a jig head. We fish it quite a bit on the Okashira screw head. The basic Okashira head as well does really good on a ball head. Our buddy Chris Zaldane likes fishing this bad boy on a just old school ball head. But it is a superb fish catcher. And I think especially with all the hype and the in the hoopla on fishing big baits, people kind of miss the fact that these predatory fish eat a lot of small prey items. And that holds true for smallies, largemouth, spots. And, you know, now that I've been able to spend a little time back here in Southern California, this is perfect for fishing the bays for spotted bay bass. And calicos and, and pretty much every predatory fish. Absolute killer this time of year when they're keyed in on smaller bait. Okay, and you just never know what you're going to face out there. Now, some of my favorite ways to rig this are obviously on those jig heads that we just mentioned but what I picked up from fishing with our buddy Nick Kuzvis from Ontario Canada was that this also makes a great drop shot bait believe it or not and I'll be honest with you guys at first it was really hard for me to to have any real confidence putting this thing on a you know small nose hook drop shot rig and fishing it like I've been fishing a worm in that fashion for a long time but frankly man those big smallmouth uh, they're suckers for it 
and I started doing it for largemouth and spots here on the west coast as well. It's kind of a presentation that they're not really used to seeing, you know. Um, this minnow profile, the swim bait style of action isn't something that they're conditioned to seeing as much as they may see a wacky rig finesse worm or or any type of small worm to be honest. What a perfect way to present this bait suspended off the bottom depending on your leader length and you can drop swim it. Literally just swim it along with a drop shot weight making contact with the bottom and the bait being perfectly suspended here kicking away and with the upcoming March and April months this also makes a great bed fishing bait for those of you guys that are into that kind of thing you can adjust leader lengths accordingly very quickly but try this on a drop shot rig you might be surprised now a mega bass order wouldn't be complete without some fours Oh, we got some four inch here, four inch there, and some more four inch. Now, you guys can see the pretty dramatic difference in size and profile in just an inch. Same bait, just scaled up. Amazing attention to detail. All the colors are superb. You know, you want to pick and choose color options depending on your prey species you're trying to imitate and or water clarity and other, other conditions like the weather and light penetration. But this Wagasaki color is a favorite of Kobe Pellerito's. Pearlish belly and bottom. Little cinnamon up on top. Purple flake. Cinnamon purple flake has always been a favorite color of mine. My absolute favorite way to fish the 4-inch spark shad is on a weedless warbait's head. Usually it's quarter ounce or 3 8 ounce max on this size bait for me. Super easy rigging tip here. Something that will extend the life of your baits and save you guys some money. Uh, but more importantly, keep you really efficient while you're on the water in the middle of a hot bite. Go grab yourself some Zappagap super glue. This is a fishing specific glue here that really bonds this soft plastic to these jig heads in a superb manner. And it's a little bit of a preparation will go a long way. You know, this is the kind of stuff I like to do, you know, the night before a trip instead of during fishing. And all you gotta do is take a little half drop or so up on the shank. You want to pay attention to where that hook point should be exiting. Nice uh, little cheater markers right here on the back of the bait. You got three holes, so you want to go to the second hole. And you want to go straight through in a smooth fashion and push a little bit of that glue up as you go along. And then boom. Perfectly rigged. You want to make sure they're straight. They're not straight, it's not going to swim true, especially when you pick up speed. This is my absolute favorite way to fish this specific size spark shad. And you look at take a look at the sled head design of the war baits. That that bait slow rolls and and bottom bumps beautifully. You know, we've done damage on this thing from coast to coast, north to south. It excels coming over mussel beds on the Great Lakes. Timber, flooded brush in the west with the, with the wet year we had last year. Just a super efficient, super easy bait to, to fish. And it catches them. And a spin-off of this, obviously, is to rig multiple spark sheds. on that war bait head on a rig. You guys have seen that plenty of times now. So yep, these are uh, the three basic colors I tend to use the most. This is the hue, or white if you guys can't pronounce it and I probably butchered it again. Okay, that's the real color. Just kind of a generic 
tan bait fish color and the good old Wagasaki. Keep it simple. Every single one of those colors gets bit really well. Get you some war bait heads. A little zappa gap. You guys are gonna be in business. Now what else do we have here in this particular order? Next up. Hmm. Mm. All right. Up next, two sizes, three of my favorite colors. We're going to start with the 4.2 inch here. A little bit bigger profile, a lot slender profile compared to the 4 inch Spark Shad. A little bit more on length. Not by much, 0.2 inches to be exact, you know, in and in a slightly different profile. You know, I think that kind of, that head design kind of matches like a Sculpin or a Gobi really well. And that really lends uh, itself to rigging it a couple of different ways that we found a lot of success with. Now, due to the slender profile and shape here, I think this is a better bait for fishing on a underspin. That difference in, in belly shape has a way of interfering with the underspin blades when fishing a bigger spark shad. So I tend to favor the hazedong shad because that slim profile keeps that blade spinning true. So this is by far my favorite warbait underspin trailer here. Basic bait fish profile. And basic bait fish colors, you know, light, light bellies, darker tops. This ghost shad here is a killer. It's got almost like this UV iridescence here that really lights this bait up, even in super clear water or overcast skies. Now this this was a bait that I didn't have any problems adopting fishing on a drop shot rig. That really thin tail doesn't take much to, to really impart action into it. And, and it's amazing how effective both sizes of this particular bait can be on a drop shot rig. And there have been days when, you know, they key in on one size over the other. When you see, uh, let's get uh, two of the same colors here lined up. But you see there's quite a drastic difference in the overall size and profile. When those fish are keyed in on super small bait, it's hard to beat the three inch haze dong shad, especially with big small mouth. We've caught a lot of big fish on this little micro bait. And one of the ways that we really like fishing it is actually on a slip shot or a light Carolina rig and taking a, a smaller wide gap hook like this and Texas rigging this bait and dragging it with about a 12 to 24 inch a liter right behind a split shot or, or a light Carolina rig sinker Finesse Carolina rigging and Once you guys rig one up and pull it behind the boat You might be impressed at how well this bait tracks. Oh deadly <laughs> All right now let's get to some of the the really fun stuff Uh Oh Keep that. How sick are these bad boys, huh? Oh, you got the old Oliver rule of threes. Got to have backups for your backup in case you lose one and you're on a bite. These are brand new for 2018. What we have here is the uber underrated flap slap. Now people might take a look at this beautiful bait here and think, okay, that looks like a rip bait or a twitch bait, but more of a shad profile. And that's initially what I had, had perceived it to be. And I've caught some fish doing that, but this, this is a really finesse hard bait. 
and it excels on more of a straight retrieve with an occasional pause and twitch for me you know if you rip it kind of you know super hard like a 110 it'll kind of blow out and lose balance a lot of you guys in northern california are super familiar with the lord jensen speed trap well this has been my replacement this is the new age speed trap if you will i love fishing this bait on a stop and go steady retrieve you can fish it super fast when fish want to chase things you know this is a brand new color for the year secret gill nice big tall profile just like a like a juvenile sunfish i always thought it was cool that this bait had two different eyes this is a truly underrated hard bait here i like to call it a finesse crank my most effective way of fishing this thing is stop and go with occasional pauses and in a twitch. That seems to really trigger bites for me. And this is a, an amazing tool for covering a lot of water, which is what we're doing a lot of times on all these new lakes that I'm fishing. You know, I got to eliminate water. So this is one of those baits that you can put your trolling motor on high, fire this thing down the bank at a 45 degree angle and just straight out find fish. The secret gill color is sick. One of my favorite colors in the S crank previously. Awesome to see it offered in the flap slap here. And if you'll notice, there are two models of the flap slap. That was the original. And this is what they call the diving flap slap. And if you'll notice here, it's the same bait, same body, same profile, same everything. Obvious difference is the build, design, and size. I'm fishing this bait four feet or less a lot of times. And if I need to hit that four to 10 foot zone, we're going with a diving flap slap. It's just sick to have two different options in the same bait style to fish different parts of the water column effectively. Mm. That's sweet. What's also new for 2018 is the old gizzard shad pattern. Man, look at that bad boy. I've been anticipating this color for quite a while. And obviously it's it's even though it's named after gizzard shad that represents all types of bait fish profiles and color schemes. You got quite a bit of purple and pink pearlescent in the paint, paint job. And you, as you guys look at this layering of this paint, this is a perfect example of why I've always been a fan of paint jobs. The layering effect you get from high quality paint jobs can't really be duplicated with some of those printed color schemes. I've, I've never really been a fan of the printed realistic photo finishes going all the way back to the Berkeley Frenzy baits. I didn't catch crap on those things. There's a true art form involved in, in painting these baits and truly bringing them to life. And honestly, unless someone shows me otherwise, I have yet to seen a wrapped bait outperform a painted bait, whether that was a traditional heart, you know, crankbait size lure like this or a big swim bait. A dope paint scheme is going to get me every time. Look at that bad boy. You guys ready for this? <laughs> May I introduce to you the Mega Bass Level Swimmer. This is one of two options that I'm aware of. Actually, three options that would fall into the spy bait category that's gained a ton of popularity over the last couple seasons. And the unique thing about this level swimmer in particular is its weight. It's a half an ounce. I mean, you can fire this thing on a long cast and sink it down at depth. I can't tell you guys how excited I am to have this in my arsenal. 
you know, it's it's a much heavier option than the Baby X Flows, which is much lighter and stays way higher up in the column. So now I got two tools here in a smaller size that I can, once again, target two different parts of the water column with and potentially show those fish this spy bait style action in a zone that they're not accustomed to seeing. You know, in these deep clear water reservoirs in the west, that can make a huge difference. You know, I can, I'm going to be sinking this bait in 20, 30, 40, 50 feet of water in some cases, and especially targeting, sus targeting suspended fish, that can be, I can see that doing real damage. This is the PM Fine Flash Wagasaki color. A little purple splash on the back end of the bait. Always one of my favorite color schemes. Dang, look at that. This is the HT Hue. You can see the weight system there. There's no transfer system. It's just a solid weight design. Really helps rifle this bait out there and sink it down to depth. Anytime you got clear water, I tend to I tend to lean towards these translucent colors that let light through. Like this good old standard HT Ito Wagasaki. Once again, that super good looking Wagasaki pattern, but in a clear see-through body. Oh, look at that matte. Matt Shinko, which is pretty much that Matt Shad that everybody's fallen in love with in the 110. Super sick. We're gonna have a lot of fun on those spotted spotted bass up north on these things. And then let's see. Round let's round up our hard bait selection from this order. <laughs> Jerk baits, jerk baits, jerk baits. Welcome to the Mega Bass world. Nobody has a more comprehensive array of hard jerk baits than Mega Bass. And they span both the fresh and saltwater spectrums. This X120 is sick. I had a lot of fun fishing this thing in the local kelp beds here in shore this past summer for calico bass. Excited to try this inside the bays too. I'm thinking the halibut and spotties will murk this thing. Just like the cal calicos did in the kelp. Mm. This is the GG washi pattern. Kind of a sardine-ish, you know, anchovy style pattern, but let's be honest, those saltwater fish have never seen anything this pretty. It doesn't really take much to fool them when they're ready to go most times. Another good bait that I've been fishing is the Marine Gang. This is a sinking jerk bait. 120 size, a little bit bigger, fatter profile. This is the GG Bora color. Did well on this fishing at Catalina already, as well as the Long Beach break wall. Kelp off the Malibu in Santa Monica Bay. Caligos eat this thing up. Super cool bait. Those of you guys stuck inland that aren't familiar with fishing saltwater, saltwater is more dense than freshwater, so a lot of times the baits are weighted heavier to offset that. Look at that bad boy. This is a bigger 140 color. Shell skin lemon. Same beautiful profile, all designed by the man himself, Yuki Ito. Craftsmanship meets function. Mm, casts really well. All quality hardware, no need to swap out split rings, no need to swap out hooks. That's good times right there, boys and girls, good times. Alright. Oh, 
And of course, I had to get some more Mackie Volt jigs in anticipation of the reopening of the rockfish season. Got two sizes here. Got a 120 size and the bigger 180 size. Quickly become one of my favorite bottom fishing baits locally in the salt. Trying to get the boys at Performance Tackle to bring them in stock so you guys can get your hands on them. Give them a call. Tell them you want them. Oh, that's actually a midsize right there. That's a 150 gram. Done really well on these jigs for sand bass, calicos, shallow water rockfish. Super fun and unique bait. Oh, almost forgot. Got a couple more goodies left in the box. You guys gotta see. New for 2018 is the 110 Silent. Well, some of you guys might be asking, well, why do we need a silent version to add to the collection of 50 to 1,000 110s that we all probably all own now? Well, as the name implies, this bait is truly silent. There is no more weight transfer system in this bait. It's like the 110 Magnum. You've got a fixed balancer here. What many of us fail to realize is how truly loud most of our hard baits can be underwater. Water is a much denser medium than air. It transfers sound and noise and vibration so, so much more efficiently. So, you know, when you got that knocking ball in the standard 110s going clack, 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 sometimes it's just a little too much. You know, there's a, there's a reason why a soft jerk bait will start to outperform a hard jerk bait in slick calm conditions or super clear water or anytime you have pressured fish and now you have that same kind of subtle presentation in the proven 110 jerk bait super sick got the ghost ghost tiger pattern here a little bit subdued version of the matte tiger which our buddy Brett Forrester would be all about. This sexy beast here. That's the PM Go Shiner. Overall great bait fish imitation. Now obviously I'm gonna say these baits are gonna shine in clear water situations, but it took me quite a long time to realize that Bass will absolutely destroy a jerk bait in low visibility water. You know, putting stone where I grew up fishing has traditionally been a mud hole. You're talking three inches to a foot visibility most of the time. And, you know, we grew up cracking them on, on jerk baits. Kind of the, the same mental barrier that a lot of us have throwing a swim bait in clear versus stained water but I'm telling you what these fish have no problem tracking these baits even the silent version even though it doesn't have that crazy knock 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 sound anymore it's still moving quite a bit of water it's still oscillating on the pause throwing off vibrations mm. that is one good looking bait right there and that's the matte shad real similar to the uh, level swimmer pattern right Almost identical, actually. And that's the Matt Shinko right there. But that thing is sick. However, one of my favorite colors over the past season has been the introduction of this new orange belly shad. And my old buddy Justin Pirelli actually put me on game with this one. He absolutely crushed him in the upper northeast on this bait. Check it out. But dark black top transitions to that sick little pearl greenish brown shoulder and then once you get to the underside there straight up orange super unique I mean look at the way that thing throws color as it's ripping through the water but yeah had to show you guys a couple of these new silent options here an amazing array of colors to add to the lineup 
So, anyway, that wraps up this edition of Mail Call. Look for the new color Flap Slaps in the Big Bass Dream store. You can find the Spark Shads and the Hazedong Shads both on the Big Bass Dream store. And if they're out of stock there, check out the description below. You can find them from our friends at Tackle Direct. Level Swimmers are a MOJ item only. So this is one of those baits that we're thinking about bringing into the Big Bass Dream store for you guys. So you guys can get access to them. Let us know below. If you want to see it, let's hear it. We'll make them available. All you smally guys up across the north especially, man. This thing is deadly. We stomped on them pretty good this last fall on this style of bait. So, catch you guys on the next one. I got some tackle to organize. <laughs>